Hello and welcome to this edition of Cantata of the Week. My name is Joanne Lunn and I was privileged to sing in the Bach Cantata pilgrimage 20 years ago. The cantata that we're going to focus on this week is cantata number 93. This was written for the fifth Sunday after Trinity and the second cycle, the second annual cycle of cantatas that Bach wrote while he was working in Leipzig. This was first sung on the 9th of July, 1724. On the Bach Cantata pilgrimage, we performed the surviving fifth Sunday after Trinity cantatas, number 93, 98 and 131, as well as cantata 71, Gott ist mein König, in Mühlhausen. Bach wrote Cantata 71 for the inauguration of Mühlhausen's new town council in February of 1708. We performed in the beautiful Blasiuskirche in Mühlhausen, and it was here in this church that the young 22-year-old Bach spent a year between 1707 and 1708 before he headed to Weimar and the court of Wilhelm Ernst of Sachse Weimar. Cantata number 93, Wer nur den lieben Gott lässt walten, is a chorale cantata. You will hear that Bach uses a chorale written by Georg Neumark throughout the cantata, using all his powers of imagination and musical invention to weave it through the entire work. Georg Neumark wrote the chorale's tune and seven verses of text in 1641, the tune and three verses of the text are used in their entirety with another anonymous author, author adding to it and linking us to the scriptural texts for the day. They were namely Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11 and Peter chapter 3 verses 8 to 15. Bach clearly loved the Neumark Chorale as he uses it in six other cantatas. Perhaps it will also be familiar to you. The first chorus presents the cantus firmus in the second phrase in the soprano line. However, the pattern is already set in that Bach weaves in sketches of the melody shape into the preceding passages. The text here expresses, he who trusts in God has not built on sand. You may note that Bach pits secure block chords and steady, resolute cantus firmus, representing the sure foundations of a life that's built on the trust in an unchanging, merciful God, against the shifting sands of a life that isn't. That's represented by beautiful, intertwining semiquaver patterns that are passed around the instruments and the voices. The chorale continues to be a golden thread which weaves its way through the cloth of this cantata. Listen out for it in the recitative chorale bass movement and in the opening five movements, five notes of the tenor aria, which gives us the opening shape of the chorale again. Movement four is a binary form duet for soprano and alto. Throughout this, the violins and the violas in unison Insert the chorale in low, sonorous tones which underpin the two voices in the continuo. A lengthy tenor recitative chorale allows Bach plentiful opportunities to work his expressive mastery, for example in the thunder and lightning at the beginning. The chorale tune, again, keeps surfacing and the recit allows the anonymous author, author to chance to link in the gospel story that although Peter toiled all night with no avail and catching no fish, at Jesus' word caught such a miraculous haul of fish. And therefore, as a result, we too can trust in God through our toil and our suffering. The soprano aria is an energising movement before the final reflective chorale and is, as often is the case with Bach, a personal statement of faith that the soloist utters, that the whole congregation can echo in their hearts. 
It would seem that in the joy of pledging one's trust in God, the choral tune might have been forgotten. Not so. As the text reminds us of God's unchanging character, focusing quite rightly on him and not on ourselves, Bach reintroduces the choral melody for these specific words. Er ist die rechte Wundermann, nach seinen Willen machen kann. It is he who works miracles according to his will. It truly was an honour to be so immersed in Bach's music, to learn of his life and to perform in some of the places where he had actually lived and worked. To have the opportunity to get deeper into his music and to sing such words to his music was both a musical and a spiritual blessing to me. Hearing and getting to know his entire surviving sacred cantatas really highlights what a gifted genius Bach was. If you would also like to do this, the recordings of the complete sacred cantatas are on sale now from the SDG shop on the website. I do hope that you will enjoy listening to this cantata now. Thank you. <laughs> 